Here comes the CX-90 crossover. Three electrified powertrains, a mild hybrid in two-state harness and a plug-in hybrid, provide an exciting mix of power and efficiency, topped by a 340-horsepower turbocharged 3.3-liter inline six-cylinder factory. That alone elevates the CX-90 above Mazda's existing crossovers, but this classy buggy also raises the bar for refinement, style and quality. More than any Mazda before it, the CX-90 underscores the silliness of the badge's pomp and is a fitting culmination of the strides the brand has taken over the last decade or so. While instantly recognizable as a member of the Mazda family, the CX-90 has a much more impressive design. Aura's confidence comes partly from its large platform and larger size, with wide body and fenders. Like the CX-9, the Mazda CX-90's exterior is complemented by a chrome grille that flows into the headlamps. However, the CX-90 has a more masculine and squarer overall profile than the CX-9, and the front fascia is more upright. The grille is large but not an eyesore, and features a dark bar with the Mazda logo in the center. Adding to the CX-90's premium appeal are 21-inch diamond-cut alloy wheels finished in metallic black, along with chrome garnishes available on the lower bumper. Depending on engine choice, the side fenders in front of the front doors display either PHEV or inline 6 inches insignia. So rare is the factory six-cylinder that Mazda is now proud to remind everyone that the CX-90 is powered by one. Staying aside, some versions have body-colored cladding around the wheel arches, another indication that luxury rather than ruggedness is the goal here. The back continues a clean, modern appearance. The elongated taillights have integrated lighting markings very similar to those on the BMW 4 Series Coupe. Other than that, it's a pretty generic but still attractive SUV design from this angle. Aside from the new six-cylinder engine, the Mazda CX-90's restrained luxury interior is perhaps its best attribute. Mazda has the expertise to perfect basics like usability and quality, and always puts the driver first. German or Italian vehicle customers who prefer a little flash might be a little overwhelmed by the simple layout, but we found it both elegant and refreshing. The CX-90's cabin is inspired by Japanese design and this is present in elements such as hanging stitches on the dashboard which refer to the handbook binding and Japanese weaving technique known as kumahimo. Deliberate use of negative space has helped create airy layouts, as has the use of light tone on tone fabrics. Black faux leather seats are standard on the base Mazda CX-90, and this model seats up to eight passengers. In upper trims, expect genuine leather upholstery, upgraded to Napa leather on the most expensive trim, and seating for seven or six people. The Turbo S Premium Plus comes with attractive maple wood trim, and the first and second row seats are ventilated. In the third row, legroom is a tight 30.4 inches, but that's still more than the CX-9's 29.7. The CX-90's third row headroom is also 1.4 inches larger than its big brother. Cargo space in the new Mazda CX-90 crossover is slightly better than the CX-9, with 15.9 cubic feet of space behind the third row, 14.4 in the CX-9, 40.1 behind the second, 38.2 in CX-9, and 75.2 when the second and third rows are folded flat. Mazda recently confirmed details of the much-anticipated six-cylinder engine in the CX-90. Dubbed the E-Skyactiv-G, the 3.3-liter inline six-cylinder engine has the highest horsepower and torque of any mass-produced Mazda gas engine. The numbers are good, rather than spectacular, at 340 horsepower and 369 pound-feet, but they're more powerful than the CX-9. Additionally, the M-Hybrid Boost System, essentially a mild hybrid system, features a small electric motor sandwiched between the engine and transmission. 
Instead of increasing power output, this motor allows for a smooth getaway and contributes to increased efficiency. With the engine mounted longitudinally, Mazda has confirmed that the CX-90 will have an all-wheel drive system with a rear-wheel bias. That hints at a sportier than typical driving dynamic in this segment. Mazda is also promising interesting sound from the factory 6 pot, which will come with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The second engine choice for the Mazda CX-90 is the eSkyActiv PHEV. It pairs a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with an electric motor to produce a combined 323 horsepower. Torque, however, matches that of the six-cylinder engine at 369 pound-feet. Mazda seems immune to gimmicks, so instead of a heavy touchscreen control layout and a strange button-type gear selector inside, you get neat rows of physical buttons for frequently used features, a rotary controller connected to the center screen, and a grease shift lever you can actually hold. Those physical controls are mainly for the ventilation system, but it's a relief to find buttons for heated seats as well as a volume knob. A 7-inch LCD instrument panel display, automatic climate control, 8-speaker sound system and an 8-way powered driver's seat are standard. Heated front per second row seats and a 12-speaker Bose system are available further within reach. Cup holders for those in the back, along with separate ventilation outlets and an available USB-C port for the third row, will ensure the comfort of all passengers. Second row captain seats are available, but second row bench seats will be standard. In addition to the central 12.3-inch display, there is also a 12.3-inch digital driver display on the top trim. However, the base model has a central 10.25-inch display. New technology will include see-through view monitors that make parking easier, while the more familiar iActiveSense safety suite will include radar-adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring and intelligent brake support as standard. Based on the brand's large platform and with three rows of spacious seats, the dimensions of the Mazda CX-90 are slightly expanded compared to the CX-9. The final specs indicate a length of 200.8 inches, a width including wheel arch moldings of 84.9 inches, 77.6 inches without it, and a height of 68.2 inches. At 122.8 inches, the CX-90's wheelbase is 7.5 inches longer than the CX-9. The CX-90 has a starting weight of 4,709 pounds, rising to 4,899 pounds for the model with the more powerful 3.3-liter engine. We expect the PHEV to weigh over 5,000 pounds when specifications are released.